Hey, what's going on GT gang? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be working on my 2006 Dodge Charger SRT8. My alternator went bad and I'm going to show you guys how to replace one. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So uh, yesterday I hooked up the battery and it came up front and it actually made the casing of the alternator extremely hot to the touch and the car hadn't even been running. The entire engine was cold. It sat for about 24 hours. So um, that just tells me that alternator just took a dump. So today we're gonna be doing an alternator replacement. That's why you clicked on the video. I'm going to start with uh, removing my intake because I have to um, loosen the tension on the belt. And then I actually have an extra belt, so I'm gonna replace that. So place or remove intakes the first step. Remove these two plugs here. Slide this up, and you'll be able to click that, pull it out, and then wiggle this out, and that's free. Then you'll be able to take a flathead, remove your intake. You have a factory air box, it's a little bit different, but just bear with me, you'll be able to figure it out. And then uh, remove this vacuum line. point so uh if, if you're doing this with the battery hooked up you want to make sure that you uh at least remove the um the negative terminal so you'll remove the the negative cable the black cable from the battery in the back so that um all electronics are disconnected so uh now you'll see you know the alternator is obviously right here but to remove tension off the belt we're going to take a 3 to drive ratchet down here and actually rotate it um, looks like to the left and take tension off the belt we'll remove the belt and move on from there all right Just like that, that took me a second, but uh, you, got it. you got to get some good leverage. Probably be a lot easier to get a, a breaker bar, but I just have a standard 3 8 ratchet. So one thing to note was that before I took the belt off, I took a, a video of um, telling myself where the belt actually went so that I, I can't possibly forget so here's the belt um looks like it's still there's actually some cracks in it um but it's it's overall in decent condition but um not a bad thing to replace which i have one if you're going this whole distance to do that uh, why not replace the belt you know a little preventative maintenance so now we're going to move on to the source of the problem, which is the alternator. Um, let me figure out what size this is and then I'll so tell you guys. Start off by loosening the, the top bolt, which is a 15 millimeter. Uh, loosen it, you don't need to take it out all the way. You wanna make sure that it's uh, barely threaded in so that when you remove the bottom two, the, uh, the alternator isn't just gonna fall on top of you. Okay, so it's, I can pretty much loosen this with uh, my finger by now. So now we're gonna move on to jacking the car up and removing the two on the bottom. All right guys, so move this, it's a line. So back here, here are the two alternator bolts, they're both 15 mil. I already cracked them loose and you can actually just fit a half inch drive uh, ratchet down here. It fits right in this area, uh, right behind the radiator. This is the best view I can get, but uh, half inch drive ratchet, 15 mil, 
gets them out pretty easy. Uh, I have them loose, but I want to get them out with a wrench because there's not enough room to back them completely out with a uh, ratchet. So I'm gonna grab my ratcheting wrenches and go to town with a 15 mil. You have the bottom two. I actually found it easier to prop the, the alternator this way, push it forward towards the front of the car. And then with your right hand, reach through this frame area right here with a 13 uh, wrench and actually crack it loose. It comes free pretty easily considering there's a cover on it. So 13 millimeter, and then you have a plug at the top there that you disconnect and the alternator will come free. All right guys, so, and then the very next thing you're gonna do is there's actually a collar. I actually have all the bolts free and there's a collar that sits on this so that you can actually prop the alternator up with no bolts in. So uh, make sure it's propped up on that collar and then you can move the bolt and then I'm gonna try to reach in with my hand as I pull back this hose and um, try to get it out. But if I can't, I'll let you guys know. All right guys, so just like that, you, um, you saw me remove the alternator. So next step is to get the new one, throw it in, reverse all the steps. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing it and if I find any tips and tricks to get a noise in the back, but I went with the, uh, the Ultima Select, 100% new, uh, lifetime warranty uh, alternator. I got a guy mowing next to me, so sorry about the noise, but um, got this from O'Reilly's. I opted for a brand new one. I do not want manufactured. I want brand new. It's what my charger deserves. That's what the charger is going to get. So I'm going to go ahead and start to throw this one in. I'm going to line it up with the top bolt. And then uh, from there, I'm going to move on to uh, plugging the connections actually in and then uh, finishing off with the uh, bottom two bolts. I am, I currently have the, hold on. This is where the connection goes for the positive. Uh, if you buy the same alternator as me, the new connection instead of a 13 will be a 12. And then I just plug in that connector up top, right where my finger is. And um, now I'm just in running these bottom ones in. And once these bottom ones are ran in, the top one I should be able to just run in and then put the belt on and then be right back where, uh, we can drive it again. PM Performance Muscle, um, Micro V. This is a uh, you know, uh, part that you can get at O'Reilly's. So if that's what you guys wanna go and run just what I'm running, go ahead and grab that. And then this is also the part, uh, I don't wonder if it's, here's a part number for the alternator that I got. Brand new O'Reilly's, that's how. That's just what I wanna run guys. But um, I have all the connections plugged in. I can actually line these back up. flip this okay so these are all plugged back in i need to retape that but um now what we can actually do is go ahead and throw on the new belt so you're gonna grab your 3 8 ratchet and um i'm not gonna put this on camera because it's actually super hard so uh just bear with me guys i will be i'll get it on it's it's super tough this tensioner is honestly ridiculously strong so i guess that's good I'm going to refer back to an old video that I made so that I know exactly how to uh, route this belt. I screenshotted the belt diagram for the car, so screenshot if you have to, and I hope this helps. So I'm actually going to throw in a, um, a picture that shows you exactly where or how to uh, run the belt, because that's what I used online, because the video that I took was, was just bad. But what I actually ended up having to use was my torque wrench. Um, it was actually very easy with the torque wrench. I was, I was trying it with this little 3 8 ratchet, and it, with all my strength, I could not get it. But as soon as I grabbed my uh, just a Harbor Freight uh, 3 8 drive torque wrench, got it no problem, first try. So uh, now here's the belt. It's ran. You can pause it if you want, or I can drop in a picture. I'll probably just drop in a picture here in a second, so hang tight. Uh, next thing you're going to do, put in the intake, button up your, uh, your, your coil pack cover. And then plug everything back in and then start it's it all up. buttoned up actually. 
I lied. Now the intake's all buttoned up. Intake's all buttoned up, boys. She's in there. Um, just goes to show that you can, in fact, install this without removing the radiator hose. Uh, I double checked everything was tight. Double checked all my sensors. And let's uh, hook the battery back up and start her up. Let's go check the alternator, see if she's hot. Last time I did this, alternator was steaming hot as soon as I touched it. Okay, let's fire her up. Okay, door ajar. I want to get it in a second to recognize everything. It's in the run position. Give it a second and let's fire up. Instantly. Check battery voltage. Fifty nine PSI. Wow. She's cold. She hasn't ran in a minute. Oh man, the lab's time changed. Okay, um It's running great. Battery voltage, where is it at? 13.6. Okay. Dope, she's back. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you're new to the channel, I do stuff like all the time. I'm always working on cars, and this is nothing new. Something breaks, I'm always fixing it. So. Uh, subscribe to the channel uh, like it if you enjoyed the video or if you found it beneficial so there's always content like this coming out i have more 3000 gt stuff coming out and i'm pretty sure some um some dodge charger stuff's coming soon too so stay tuned for that and i appreciate you guys more than you can even know and i could say it over and over again but uh just to get my point across i appreciate you and stay tuned for the next one guys so uh yeah peace